guys welcome back to my channel my name is Shannon if it is your first time here and this is Beauty and Curls so new hair hooties or whatever so I got two reviews for you actually so I'm going to be reviewing the new Clinique foundation my girl Peyton gave me a little sample because they had just came out so she gave me a sample she wanted me to try it and then she wanted me to review it and then if I wanted to you know go back and buy it and stuff I'd go back and buy from her so she gave me the color clove um, in the refresh foundation so I'll be reviewing that for you and then I'm going to be reviewing my new wig I just got from Lux Lux Custom Wigs, honey. So this video was actually, um, this isn't my first time wearing it. I actually wore it a couple days ago. It was, this video was supposed to go up yesterday. Um, but this is my first time having a wig with the lace attached. So I was so nervous to cut that lace. And when I cut it the first time, when I was first filming this video, there was still a little bit of lace around the edges. And you could see it, so I didn't want it to go up like that, so I had to cut a little more off. And so now like, you can't see any of the lace. You just see it looks natural. So yeah, if you want to see my full review on this hair and this foundation, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and we're gonna get right into the video starting with my brows already done um, my face is already prepped I already color corrected I powdered up my skin before my foundation so we're gonna hop right into my sample um I believe if you can see that I don't know it's not gonna focus it's just a little sample thing it says Clinique on it um so I believe Peyton got me the color in clove so um I've already tried it because this video was supposed to go up yesterday, so I had to re-record it, but um, is this the color, if, ah, uh, there it is, it's a nice color, it's a little deeper than my skin tone, but I prefer a deeper foundation anyway, so when I put on my concealers, everything just eases out, I love that, I love when that happens, so. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop this on, and we'll see how this is going to go this time around. It is deeper. It is a little, uh, like, a little deeper than my natural skin, um, but it is full coverage. Um, I just love. It looks. It's full coverage, and it still looks natural. That's the main thing I like about Clinique foundations. They still look like skin. And that's what we need, okay? We don't need to look like another person. Like we have a mask on. We need to look like ourselves. Just, you know, a little enhanced, okay? <laughs> yeah. But yes, I love this. I'm going to give y'all a little close-up. This is really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop on my concealer. So you guys know I use my I use my ColourPop concealers. So go ahead and do this. I do, you know, I use um, Deep Dark 52 under. <laughs>
So now that we have concealer blended, I'll go ahead and use my Black Radiance Contour Stick to shape and sculpt this face, honey. contour is blended I'm going to go ahead and powder um, I'm going to set the under eye a little bit with my air sponge just because I want to add a little shadow um, and then I'm going to set the rest of my face with the black opal um, setting powder and medium now that uh, the, the rest of the face is set I swept away everything except for the under eye so I'm going to go in with a little bit of shadow and I'm going to use my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Um, these colors. You can see. And so I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics number 7 and then I'm going to prime the lids first with my Makeup Revolution Concealer. There goes Devontae. <laughs> yes, that was his way of saying hey. <laughs> Start with shadow. And I'm going to go ahead and use Mug Shots. It's this color right here. And I love that this has a mirror. Don't mind it, it's a little dirty. all the shadow I wanted to do um I just wanted like a muted eye I mean not too muted I like a little pop but lately I have not been feeling like doing all that right now like all those colors I just want a nice quick nude eye and then you know a natural face I haven't really been doing like full glitter or anything like that lately I really haven't been feeling it I really haven't really had the time honestly so I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some lashes and I'll be right back the lashes are on I'm gonna go ahead and sweep away this powder with my black opal setting powder and my BH cosmetics number two brush
And I'm gonna go ahead and powder contour or bronze with my Black Radiance Contour Palette. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight and blush. So I'm going to use my Master Chrome Maybelline highlighter and I'm going to blush with my um, Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, uh, the ball palette. I'm tripping. Tripping. I got this new glow. Glow Revolution Prime Set Glow Illuminating Face and Body Spray from Makeup Revolution. And it's like, like this. So I'm gonna shake it. And normally I spray the sides of my face first before I apply my highlighter. But it's like from far because you'll have glitter all over your face if you get too close. And then I apply my highlighter. I'm gonna go ahead and blush with brush. Oh, that's so pretty. So for lips, I'm going to use Plum. This is the MAC, the MAC liners. And I'm going to um, use Anastasia Beverly Hills with gloss and bronzed. I really need to get some more of this because it's almost gone. Now that the face is done, um, so thoughts, I love how it, how it blends and works well with the concealers, um, by the time I put on my concealers, you can't even tell that it's deep, it blends perfectly, it blends really smooth, um, so for my hair, don't mind my hair child, <laughs> And this is a unit from Lux Looks Custom Wigs. Uh, her name is Corinne. 
when you order the name is Corinne on the website um, so the girl who makes them uh, her name is Shaquayla she is one of my friends she's my best friend's sister actually um, so she has been making wigs for about I want to say five or six years four or five years now I believe um, and so when I got this unit I got my first unit actually my first unit was Rosalie um, and she's like a Malaysian straight I just took her out of bag so don't mind her but she is 26 inches um, the only thing about this one is I think I got the cap too small because at the time when she first started the website and I bought it I don't think there was like a option for a size in the caps yet um but yeah she's really she I've had her since 2017 um but as far as their packaging the packaging is really cute it comes in this little this little bag and then it has influx business cards If you focus, you're not going to focus? Okay, well, whatever. But as far as this unit, um, this is a 10-inch bob. It's my first bob ever. Um, I've never, never had a bob. So, not in sew-in, anything. Just strictly in a wig. And my first bob came from Shaquayla, so it kind of means something to me, okay? Um, but it's, this hair, I believe, is Brazilian or Malaysian. Um, I'm probably just going to run the flat iron through it before I go to work because I do have to be there in a couple of minutes. So, yeah. Um, Shop Looks, Looks Custom Wigs. She is actually launching a rebranding party because she is um, rebranding her whole company. Um, she's about to launch her new is bomb, y'all. And so I paid $225 uh for this for this one um i need to do my baby hairs but i paid 225 and i paid 260 for rosalie for the um the 26 inch that i had and then they also come with this little edge brush she sent me this edge brush and i was so happy i was so because i was going to go out and buy one but this wig came right on time and now I got one, I'm so happy. So, yeah. Um, if you don't, I mean, they're pricey. If you don't want to spend the coin, then don't spend the coin. But it is worth it because you get you, know, you get what you pay for. Um, they're hand-stitched. She makes, she hand-stitches them. She has her own vendor. She has her own bundles. So, she puts a lot of time and effort into these wigs. So, don't waste her time. And she's also looking for models if you are in the North Carolina, Greensboro, um, Charlotte area. She is looking for models. So if you are in that area, hit my girl up. I will link her Instagram in the description box below. And yeah. Guys, so that is the end of this video. Um, like I said, oh, this foundation is really nice. You have to go out and buy it, I believe. It's like $30. Um, at the Clinique counter at Ulta and then this wig you all you guys have to shop you guys have to shop Lux Lux custom wigs okay she's like the only person I get my wigs from and yeah if you like this video you like how I got this look and you like the way my hair is um, don't forget to like and subscribe hit that thumbs up button and that notification bell so you don't miss when I post and I'll see you guys in my next video bye